so hello students welcome to your pedia education so as you know drdo have shortlisted the student for especially electronics and communication student for the interview stage right so they have shortlisted even student with the very low grade score so now the question of the student is to tell us how to prepare the interview the very first thing you need to understand that is the drdo isro and basically bark these all research laboratory interviews totally different from the other interview the questions are not random here they will ask you some of your favorite subjects so you must be well prepared with 3 to 4 technical subject and keep the subject of one domain right if you are saying edc then analog edc network digital this is a one domain if you are going for the communication then communication signal mathematics emft that is a second domain so then it will be quite easier for you as a person to prepare and correlate the concept why i am saying this because in the interview of these research laboratories the questions are not random question they are connecting question they will start with one topic and they will keep on grilling you people till the time they are not satisfied if you are not able to answer that question in the initial stage they will leave they will go for the next question but if you keep on answering they will keep on grilling you people till the time they are not satisfied and they haven't made any decision regarding your candidate now so how this interview happen whatever reviews and experience i have got my past students so when you will be entering the room there will be one tab or you can say tab like digital pad which will be provided to you people and you will be writing on this you will be writing on this answer or solution whatever they are asking you right and whatever you are writing here that will be reflected on a very wide screen which will be hanged on the room and there will be panel of uh, basically scientist or professor who will be viewing this screen and they will be you know checking and analyzing your answer through this screen only you will be writing on this tab they will be analyzing whatever you are writing here through this screen whatever question they will have they will ask you right and you need to proceed accordingly so this is the basic process how the mode are there for the interview now the point is sir what is the meaning of uh, connection how the questions are connected if we start preparing how to prepare the topic so i have taken one example here and this is totally one of the actual interview asked question so let us suppose they ask one person what is your favorite subject and somebody tells her i love analog electronics right so i love analog electronics is it clear so if we talk about analog electronics the very basic and very important term is transistor is it clear the very important term is transistor is it clear so first they will ask what is transistor so if you know transistor this is the first question then they will be proceeding ahead what are the different configuration of the transistor what are the different configuration of transistor is it clear configuration of transistor let us suppose you start answering sir common emitter is there sir common base is there and common collector is there you have played your part you have given the answer if you are not able to answer this question they will not ask anything more because if a student don't know what is the transistor there is no point of asking question him what are the different configuration of transistor basically this is the process they follow they start from very basic let us suppose you answer sir common emitter is there common base is there common collector is there the next very question can be can you differentiate between them can you differentiate between them so they will ask you to differentiate between them because they know a student might have written from uh, read from somewhere else sir there are three configuration and you might have answer they want to check your depth in this topic right see they choose one topic to decide your conceptual depth so now they are asking how you can differentiate somebody what they will do they will draw the common emitter configuration somebody will draw the common base configuration somebody will draw the common collector configuration i mean circuit configuration and uh, you know they will try to show them sir this is the difference this is the common emitter this is the common base this is the common collector but see this question you can answer sir we can differentiate them on the basis of the voltage gain we can differentiate them on the basis of the current gain we can differentiate them on the basis of the power gain we can differentiate them on the basis of the input resistance we can differentiate them on the basis of the output resistance we can differentiate them on the basis of the cut off frequency and the bandwidth see these are the basically parameter which are associated with any amplifier configuration right so if you want to differentiate them you can also use these parameter voltage gain current gain power gain input resistance output resistance frequency and bandwidth if you are answering like this it means they will get convinced okay you possess some knowledge related to this topic and they want to test you more in this topic right now next question they can ask you from here like fourth question how to decide whether we need to use common emitter configuration whether we need to use common base or common collector configuration then what you will say sir it depend upon the application requirement or industrial process requirement we will see these parameter what is the requirement of the particular process or application or plant 
so which ever configuration is satisfying these all parameter requirement as per the industry or plant we will go with that configuration right like this your answer should be framed see whenever we are going to decide which configuration is best for which projects or which process then we must be knowing what is our requirement in that project and process so how you will decide on the basis of these parameter it means they started from here they will go here then they ask this then they reached here right now what will happen they start asking some few question now when it comes to the transistor student might have studied that this is the collector current first of all i am collecting here all the terms which you all know related to transistor right second you can write here gm gm is the transconductance you can write it gm is equal to ic upon vt is it clear third you might have studied r pi base 2 ammeter resistance next you might have written re right next you might have studied voltage gain is it clear next you might have studied finite output resistance because of the early effect is it clear or base width modulation so basically these all parameter you have studied in the transistor c whether you know these thing or not that is not important that is not important is it clear 100% people are knowing these relations is it clear what is important important is how you utilize how you utilize and integrate these relation and integrate these relation these relation to solve the given problem to solve the given problem to solve the given problem that is very very important so this is one of the great learning curve for those all student who are preparing for the interview you know this relation don't get satisfied okay all people know this relation even many student know this relation because they are the very integral part of the competition exam the point is how you are utilizing this relation to solve the given problem in the interview right now see i am taking one question they have given a common base stage what they have given a common base stage it means they are talking about the common base configuration is designed to an rf signal received by a 50 ohm antenna determine the required bias current what is the bias current collector current ic is the required bias current if the input impedance of the amplifier must match the impedance of the antenna what is the voltage gain of the common base stage to drive a 50 ohm load right so matlab ye hai ki aapne common base stage ko design kiya hai to an rf signal received by 50 ohm antenna determine the required bias current which is ic if the input impedance of the common base amplifier must match the impedance of the antenna condition de rakhi hai ki current aapko is condition mein nikalna hai ki input impedance jo amplifier ka hoga wo match karna chahiye impedance of antenna ko iska matlab ye hai jab aap basically common ammeter configuration ki baat karte hain कॉमन बेस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन की बात करते हैं कॉमन कलेक्टर कॉन्फ़िगरेशन की बात करते हैं आप इनके स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल बनाते हैं राइट यू गो फॉर देयर स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल इज इट क्लियर एंड व्हेन यू गो फॉर देयर स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल व्हाट यू कैलकुलेट देयर यू कैलकुलेट देयर आर इनपुट यू कैलकुलेट देयर आर आउटपुट सो मेनी टाइम स्टूडेंट आस्क सर हाउ दे कैन बी आस्क इन द इंटरव्यू विल दे आस्क अस कैलकुलेट आर इन विल दे आस्क अस कैलकुलेट आर आउट यस दिस इज द वन ऑफ द बेसिक क्वेश्चन बट like this they integrate the concept you can see they have written clearly determine the required bias current if the input impedance of the amplifier it means if you know what is the input impedance of the common base amplifier that knowledge you can directly use in this problem that what i was saying that to know this formula that is not important how to utilize this formula in given problem in the interview that is much important is it clear now next question is what is the voltage gain if the common base stage drive a 50 ohm load agla wo puch raha hai ki voltage gain kya hoga agar main jo maine jo common base stage design kara hai isko main use karu to drive the 50 ohm load ab ye bahut basic sa problem hai sabse pehle aapko kya karna hai common base banana hai usme signal source ki jagah aapko kya lagana hai antenna lagana hai because rf signal receive kar raha hai antenna aur antenna ka resistance kitna hai 50 ohm hai ab dekhiye मैंने इस पूरे डाटा के बेसिस पे एक ये कॉन्फ़िगरेशन बनाया दिस इज माय कॉमन बेस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एंड वी हैव यूज्ड एंटीना हियर एट द इनपुट नाउ सी दिस एंटायर सर्किट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट सो वी नीड टू आल्सो रिप्रेजेंट एंटीना इन टर्म ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल और मैंने आपको पहले बताया आई हैव टोल्ड यू पीपल व्हेन एवर वी हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सिग्नल वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट दैट सिग्नल इन टर्म ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल बाय यूजिंग द थैगनन इक्विवेलेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स और करंट सोर्स इक्विवेलेंट सो आई एम रिप्लेसिंग हियर एंटीना विद द वोल्टेज सोर्स इक्विवेलेंट दिस इज द इंपिडेंस ऑफ एंटीना एंड दिस इज द इनपुट सिग्नल राइट रेस्ट ऑल द सर्किट इज आइडेंटिकल so what he is saying that whatever input i am calculating here input resistance that is equal to the impedance of antenna 
it means whatever I will be getting value here that should be equal to RS. This relation I need to use while solving this entire problem. So these kind of statement basically you need to grab from their concept whatever design concept they provide to you people in the interview. Now if you know that if you are calculating input resistance at this ammeter lead for the common base what is the relation? That relation is 1 upon GM. You might have calculated this. I am not going to calculate it. It means 1 upon GM is equal to RS. This is the very first relation which I need to use for this entire calculation. Right? They are asking us to calculate the bias current. What is the bias current? Bias current I know IC collector current upon VT is equal to transconductance. Is it clear? Now I know IC can be written as VT multiplied by GM. Is it clear? And I can write it as a VT multiplied by 1 by RS. This is equal to I guess 26 millivolt and what was the value of RS? The value of RS was given to us I guess something 50 ohm. So no worries right? It was 50 ohm into 1 upon 50 ohm. So you can calculate this value that is the bias current. This is your first question. The second question is if the designed common base is driving a 50 ohm load what will be voltage gain? Now this he is giving 50 ohm. Put this here 50 and this already I have told you know there is perfect matching. So I have given here, you know you can see here 1 upon gm is equal to rs and rs antenna impedance is 50 ohm again. So what we can write here, we can write here guys this one also 50 and this one is also 50. So it means answer will be 50 upon 100. So it will be giving us 1 by 2. What will happen here again, the student will stop here by giving this answer. But there will be very few students who will say, sir whatever problem you gave me, sir whatever condition you gave me here, like this condition, under this condition, this design is not going to work effectively. Why? Because voltage gain is coming less than 1. And if voltage gain is less than 1, that is not a amplifier. Is it clear? gain should be greater than 1 for a device to work as an amplifier. So these kind of logic and tactics they basically want to check in your answer when you are doing the interview. Is it clear? Many students will follow up to this one. And you know many students might be getting stuck. Okay, they might be not knowing how to calculate IS. You know some of you might not be getting this hint. So they will provide to give you hint that uh, I believe that uh, input resistance is 1 by GM. So if you know that whatever question is saying and you can click it directly, it means 1 by GM is equal to RS, that's it. And second thing, many might be missing what is the voltage gain formula. So the point is student, if you are going for the interview preparation, I have done a brief calculation here. See, calculation is a very small, don't go behind the calculation. Just try to see how the relation must be utilized in the given application and how you need to make the conclusion. So if you are starting preparing for your interview, so your PDA education is taking the mock interview, very exhaustive and detailed mock interview. So you can join us and but if you are preparing at your own, if you are investing some time in topic preparation, just follow this pattern. Okay, start preparing in connection, you know, basically question in sequence. Don't do one question from here, one question from there. Start with one topic and ask yourself question what, why, when, how. Is it clear? These are the basic query. Thank you.